A Sora Rail's brocaded back isn't any prettier than a Dowager's. But birders would rather see the Sora. And that's because the Dowagers get right out in the open and let you see them. The rails don't. And something in human nature makes us desire what's elusive. Whether it's curing the common cold, finishing the Times Saturday crossword, or glimpsing the Loch Ness Monster. So birders smile when they hear the sore rail whinnying loudly from the cattails and reeds because Game on. You know, I don't think the Sora means his call to be a catch-me-if-you-can challenge. But the way he plays peekaboo does make it sound like a taunt to some people. Just know, though, that if you stand and wait quietly, you'll probably see him. The trick to finding Soros is to amuse yourself in other ways. Watch red-winged blackbirds pick meals out of the muck. Listen to common yellowthroats trill. Let the frogs serenade you while swallows swoop and killdeer skitter around the marsh. By and by, that Sora is likely to wander out, plucking seeds and insects from the mud sometimes surprisingly close and apparently unconcerned about human presence. So there the Sora is in all his glory. If you're lucky, he'll show you his white and salmon tail flicking in counterpoint to each step. And by the way, those legs his tail keeps time with are strong. Birds in the rail family have the highest ratio of leg muscle to wing muscle of any other bird. Not sure why. Maybe pushing through reeds requires a lot of sinew, because those reeds are not silken. Native people found them tough enough for weaving baskets. And the rails don't even try to shove the reeds aside. Instead, they compress their bodies like a glob of mud smushed between two hands so that they're narrow enough to squeeze through. In addition to that adaptation, the Virginia rail has extra tough feathers on the front of his head so that he can literally make headway. The Virginia is even more reclusive than the Sora, thus the need for tougher head feathers. Here in Missouri, we only get two rails regularly. Local birders expect to see Soros several times a year, but figure they're lucky to catch sight of a Virginia rail every couple of years. And by the way, the phrase thin as a rail does not refer to birds in the rail family, even though it would make sense considering how they compress themselves. But no, according to both the OED and the Audubon Society, the phrase means thinnest fence rails. 